X class. X class, the yeah. 1000 millimeter. Yeah. For that, I'm flying, uh, currently flying the Trooper frame by RC Timer. I'm calling it the Koopa Troopa. Uh, it's RC Timer, pretty much everything. 40 What's the amp obsession with the, with the Nintendo? Uh, uh, no, I used to combat under that name Koopa, or uh, King Koopa, so my racing frame was Koopa, and it's Troopa is the name of the frame, so it just worked, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to shell uh, Hydro Dip the covering, oh, the really? cowling, nice. so I got to make my own Hydro Dip film, which is another fun thing. Uh, yeah, so I'll be flying that, it's mostly RC timer everything. Yeah? So, it's so kind which of RC, which uh, motors? Uh, I want to say those ones currently are 700 kV. Don't know the actual size right now. I'm getting bombed uh -oh. on by uh -oh. micros. Uh -oh. From the trees! The elves have attacked with aerial forces. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, 700 kV RC timers? Yep, 700 kV, 40 amp ESCs. That's currently 4S. I know a lot of other guys are going 6S now, so we're looking to upgrade that to the 6S capable motors and Why'd ESCs. you go with 4S to start? Uh, that was the kind of our inaugural, so we just did what we had available to us essentially. Mm -hmm. And now that we've got some people with the fire under our butt to do more and faster and better, we're, uh, we're going to keep up with the Joneses. <laughs> the frame survived, we broke an arm in the last race, so got that replaced, mm -hmm. cracked a PDB, mm -hmm. so we're going to a harness, so we're making some minor changes here and there as we move forward. So, so you think the harness is a better idea than a... Yeah, the harness is always a better idea. <laughs> um, we just used the integrated PDB to just to test it, yeah. and the first crash it failed, so we tested it enough. So you would recommend going with a harness? Direct not harness, a, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, for the amp draw alone, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then flexibility, crashing, that kind of stuff, interchangeability. It's just faster. So what ESCs are you using? Uh, again, RC timer, 40 amp. Uh, they're With somewhat the, smaller. Yeah, are, are you having a problem? Because I know that uh, other people have had, because there's so much of a draw on them, uh, there's the issues of them getting hot. Uh, we haven't had that issue. Okay. Yeah, and I think, again, this is, we're on the 4S side, so we're not really demanding so much. Yeah. Um, so that may be more about when we push the envelope, we'll run into those same issues then. Right. But hopefully everyone will figure those out for us. So when we get ready mm -hmm. to move forward, then we have those answers already. And your flight controller? Uh, flight controller right now is a BF3, mm -hmm. B-Rotor F3. Again, RC timer uh, flight controller. And it's F3, F3 running beta flight. Yeah, I was going to say, you're using the native beta flight that it comes on it, or did you flash it at all? I think or? it's a 3.16 now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, we had some issues with clean flight, like I think it came clean flight. Mm -hmm. So we had some issues just because of the Y6 and the size and everything, and it was kind of behaving weird. So we moved over to the beta flight, and that seemed to really stabilize it. Uh, but then we had the arm come off, so that kind of finished that. <laughs> So, uh, that de totally destabilized and it. That totally destabilized it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, the, the reason we went Y6 is because it has the redundancy capability. So if you lose a motor, uh, it can land safely, mm -hmm. right? It could go to fail safe and still keep itself, you know, it kind of spirals, but it doesn't sail into a crowd or something. Right. Uh, but we actually lost the whole arm, so technically we lost two motors. Right. So, of course, it went sailing into the dirt. So that was lessons learned um, that even redundancy is not total fail safe. Yeah. yeah. So uh, any advice for somebody that wanted to get start? an x-class rig right now mistakes that you've made that you would say don't make my mistake um definitely the power system like getting the the power supply or the power distribution board or the harness like having the right draw for your system is crucial because i think at this size if you're asking too much or you're going to pull up or something and you full throttle and you're really asking a lot of it then that's when you're going to stress it and that's when things are going to catch on fire and at this size that's not good so i would definitely say get your power in order first uh, and then also just you know keep in mind it's still for fun and it's still you know uh, enjoyable to race as opposed to like life or death. So really pushing the envelope uh, with people around maybe isn't necessarily the best thing. Like do that in testing and then take the pro tried and proven rig and do the racing with that one and, and have a good time with it and don't. Uh, no need to show off for everybody every time. I get in trouble sometimes <laughs> pushing it. <laughs> Come on, you're telling pilots don't show off every time. I mean, I have to say that just so I can check myself, right? So <laughs> later when I'm full throttle, like, where's the end? I don't know. I'm just going to keep going up, you know. And I could be like, I told myself not to do it, you know. But yeah. 